This is Colin I. Thomas, author, entrepreneur of Unlimited Minds, and here we have Princess Fizz. How are you doing today, Princess? I'm doing absolutely awesome, Colin. Thank you very much for inviting me oh, to your show. Oh, definitely. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Appreciate your time. I, mean, I have to have you on. You're very, very inspirational. I remember I added you on Facebook uh, months back, and I'm like, oh, cool. She looks interesting. So I gotta, I gotta add her. I gotta see what she's all about. And like, wow, <laughs> you're, you're, you're a big deal, <laughs> all in UK. So, uh, my first question to ask you today: What was or still is your motivating factor that continues to propel you toward your goals? Wow, it's a very good question, Colin. The um, thing is, the, the, for the people that don't really know me, um, I want to introduce myself first and my background so you can kind of understand where I'm coming from. But um, I've been brought up in the uh, Middle East and um, this Princess Fizz, I'm thinking, what, what is this name all about? But it's actually a translation um, of my um, Persian name, which is Saida Fizal. And it comes down from a tribe um, in the Middle East where uh, we are considered as uh, royals of that tribe. So um, I kind of translated it over to princess and I, I, I made, abbreviated my name, which is Fizar, to Fizz. And it just kind of made it all right, you know, just Princess Fizz. <laughs> so people remember me that way. But um, yeah, so um, the, op the biggest kind of challenge, I think, was um, being brought up in the Middle East um, around... Um, a society that's quite male dominated. So um, being women, um, we were kind of crushed uh, when it came to our opinions, um, our contribution. Um, we were just kind of, as a young girl, you know, I remember, you know, my family just telling me that, you know, you just have to grow up to be that good wife to your husband and have lots of children and just carry that kind of circle on. But um, I just, at a young age, we had an amazing library um, and I, I used to just kind of go into those books, you know, and, and just kind of get lost in books and read about inspiring leaders around the world. You know, Martin Luther King, you've got Alexander the Great, you've got Socrates. And it, it was kind of an escapism for me because I couldn't accept the fact that just because I'm a woman, um, I didn't have the opportunity the same as the men in my family, you know. When it came towards education, business, uh, um, you know, opinions um, being taken to place or anything like that, I just I used to always question it. So um, learning from these books, um, I just kind of read stories of uh, leaders that have gone past, and the um, uh, the amazing sacrifices they've actually made in their lives, and so much so much so that you know years after they've left this world, their, their name and their mission and their work still, li still lives with us today. So, um, so to break away from a society that I was brought up in, I knew that I had to make a sacrifice uh, in a way that I had to um, make certain decisions to, um, to buy my freedom back in a way, you know? So that's the kind of like background. Um, I was I was forced to get married to someone that I didn't really know very well, and uh, we did have a child, um, which is my daughter now. She's eight years old, but um, unfortunately, she was born with a vision impairment. So um, you can understand, like you know, her being a girl for one, she wasn't really accepted or celebrated. And secondly, having a, a challenge, um, I just thought you know, I just can't accept, I mean, I've accepted so much of my life um, not being listened to and, you know, my freedom being kind of trampled on. I thought I couldn't accept it for my daughter. So I made a decision and left. And um, I came to UK with my daughter. I think she was like two or three months old. And and I just started a journey of my own. <laughs> now, was it scary when you first uh, took that uh, risk, that adventure? It was really scary. I mean, Colin, I used to literally, um, you know, go out onto the balcony. I mean, we weren't allowed to even come in front of anyone, you know, uh, let alone go on the balcony. But in the evenings, I remember going out and just kind of looking at the birds just flying free. And I was just thinking, how would it be just to be able to kind of just break away from the society that's um, that's just it's man made ideas. You know, it's not it's not it's not reality. These are just these um these kind of uh, restrictions are placed to uh, suit um, people and and just to make things easier for them. But I just I, I knew there was a sacrifice that had to be made and and I just did it. Wow, that's pretty inspiring. <laughs> I like that. I like because life calls for a risk, 
And I believe for every one of freedom, we're going to have to make some changes. And they may seem scary at first. They may seem a little, you know, uncomfortable. But when we take that risk, that challenge upon ourselves, we go forth and beyond what we thought was all what natural to us. So that's right. That's really inspiring. I like that. I think what one quote that I read when I was thirteen is from um, a very uh, inspiring um, a poet um, called Rumi. I don't know if you've heard of Rumi, but he's quite famous have. in the Western world now. Yeah, but he's he said that everyone's made for a particular work, right? And um, and that desire for that work has been put into everyone's hearts. And it's it's about asking the right questions to find out what your purpose is in life. And I knew that, you know, I was I, I questioned the system all the time since a young girl. I used to say, you know, why why aren't women why haven't they got the same rights as men? And you know, so it's like this kind of fire was building up. And the more stories I read from leaders that have achieved what they want, and I and I knew that sacrifices had to be made. So it was kind of burning desire being built over years and, and just one day I just thought, right, that's it. I've got I've got to break free and just just make this big decision that I had to make. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty motivating. I like that's pretty inspiring. <laughs> you know, okay, so let me ask you this next question. What is or what was your biggest obstacle in your life? The obstacle was to, um, what, you know, what, what people would say, you know, what, how my family would react and, you know, what, how, what the society, the, the kind of pressure that would go on my family um, for me leaving. But I just, I knew what my purpose was. You know, I had to make that sacrifice. Even at the time, it felt like it wasn't something that I could do. But I, I was looking forward. You know, I had a big vis vision of, of just freeing as many women as I can those that don't have the opportunity to kind of help them through my journey and my story. So that's, that's how it kind of turned out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> okay. So this is, you're going to love this question. I know you're going to like it. <laughs> what is the, I have a dream show all about? The I Have a Dream show, is, it was basically born from, um, when I, I, I attend events a lot, you know, to meet people, to meet other entrepreneurs from around the world that have got, um, you know, t they, they want a dream, you know, everyone's got a dream and they, they want to find out what they can do to achieve that dream. So going to events, meeting people, I just felt everyone's got a story, you know, those that have succeeded, those that have actually achieved their dreams is what we see of success today. There's a whole process that goes behind it. So um, the I Have a Dream show is basically bringing on entrepreneurs from around the world that have actually um, you know, achieved their goals and, and they share how they did it. Not just saying, look, you know, we made this much money or whatever it is, we're living this lifestyle, but actually sharing the obstacles they've faced, you know, what kind of decisions they had to make, what the processes are of achieving your goals. It's not easy, you know. So it's, it's, it's basically sharing stories like no other way uh, um, that has been done and really, really grilling them and going into their minds and sharing it with people to inspire them to dream again and dream big. Mm, definitely. And I believe <laughs> dreaming big is what really drives us and motivates us to go bigger because who wants to live an average life, honestly? I was having a debate with a... Uh, and I guess you call a friend or acquaintance for different or different levels technically. I'm not here. Here's the thing: I don't look down to anybody who's not, you know, uh, where they want to be. Like if if you're a multimillionaire, um, and and somebody isn't, I don't care who you are. But anyway, I was having a debate with someone, and he he just wanted to settle. And I'm I'm listening. I'm like, no, yeah. how could you do that to yourself? Why would you want to settle? It's like, oh, sometimes you have to. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm like, See, the thing is, yeah, yeah absolutely right. Because the thing is, Colin, I think, um, you know, with the Matrix, it's kind of um, built to keep people in place and keep people organized. And and that's it, it numbs people down, you know, when it comes to us inspiration and dreaming big. I mean, the most worry that people have is financial. And, you know, not being able to kind of meet ends, uh, make ends meet each month. And it, this is what people concentrate on. Um, they, they feel they haven't got time to kind of grow. They don't, they don't They feel that they haven't got time to read a book because they're so, so um, involved in solving problems that are financial. 
but the people that break away are the ones that actually see that you know this can be done by by listening to inspirational stories people that have actually achieved success and knowing that you know there are other ways and and breaking away from the matrix so it is it is quite challenging but i think sharing stories of people that are just like me and you colin that i've actually done something um can can inspire that anyone can do it it just need you just need to ask the right questions and and read people that have actually achieved it so it can inspire you to do it again to to it to do it as well oh you're right you're you're definitely you're, <laughs> you are a hundred percent right i i definitely believe that because like what you said we are living in this matrix have you heard of plato's yes. allegory of the cave i have yes yes and from birth people are chained by the neck to look at the shadows on the wall from and exactly. when say somebody unchanged that one individual, they turn around and realize, wow, this is this is this is real and that's fake. I remember when I was in school, everybody was taking their standardized test. Everybody mm -hmm. in the room. And I'm sitting there taking my test and I'm thinking, wait a minute, why? And I'm looking up, and I'm look I'm looking around, I'm seeing everybody doing the exact same thing. The the exact yeah. same thing. I'm wondering why, why am I doing this for? This is really, yeah. this is, I feel like, wow, I'm not going to be using any of this in my life, honestly. I, I know exactly what I want to do and what I, where I'm going to go. But it's just so interesting because nobody was thinking for themselves as, as it appears. Yeah. And I've noticed when I walk through the hallways, there are people, there are two, there are two different types of staircases. On the left and on the right. And on the right side, everybody's crowding in, going upstairs. And the left side is where people will go downstairs. But sometimes that's not always the case. Sometimes mm -hmm. there would be nobody going down the left side of the stairs. And everybody's crowding up the right side of the stairs. And I'm wondering, wait a minute. Why are you all crowding on the right side of the stairway when it's obviously clear to everybody that nobody's coming down the left sideway. I mean, if you go down the left, if you go up the, excuse me, go up the left stairway, you can easily go up there a lot faster. So mm. it, it just made me wonder, and it, it always brought me back to this quote I heard from, uh, if you heard of Earl Nightingale, uh, he said, whatever the vast majority is doing under any given circumstance, and I remember this, I remember this quote down to the letter <laughs> whatever the vast majority is doing under any given circumstance if you do exactly the opposite you'll probably never make another mistake for as long as you live <laughs> fantastic yes yeah, so if you do the exact opposite of what everybody else is doing in any certain circumstance especially in new york city i am not even kidding you well the thing the thing is colin um to do that you need courage mm -hmm. right and well, i'm and crazy to, <laughs> Sorry. you have to have courage you have to be uncertain you know you have to put your, yourself in a position of uncertainty and and you know and and take that path because your reward is freedom you know your reward is the fact that you can actually design a life that you want away from the majority the reason why majority feel um, they, they follow each other is because they feel safe there. But they say, you know, dreams begin outside your comfort zone. So, you know, asking the right questions. I mean, people are even scared to even be alone, you know, um, and uh, actually spend time with themselves and listen to your inner voice um, because they just don't want to face facts. And <clears throat> if you, if, if uh, that's what I encourage people to do all the time, I go, just, just go away, find some space in solitude and just ask the right question and listen to what your heart is saying because as Rumi said, you know, everyone's built for a purpose and, and it's put into your hearts. So asking the right questions and listening to your inner voice um, is going to bring out that uh, the, the reason why you are in this planet. <laughs> you, know, you know, it's funny you say that because yeah. I, and I, I've told this to a past guest before, but it's funny you say that because... And I had this surreal experience, so uh, I want to say scary at the in the moment. But I, and I, again, this is just I'm not sure if this was a dream or if this was actually happening. So I, I will tell you what happened. Uh, what happened was I, I'm not, again I'm not sure if I was sleeping or awake. I was laying down. I heard these 
voices talking to me. And I was like, oh no, Colin's going crazy. Well, <laughs> um, yeah. I heard these. I heard this voice talking to me, saying, "You're crazy. You're insane. You're not. You know, I, you can't run from me. You're crazy for even thinking about such a goal." Uh-huh. And what's funny is I. I, as much as I tried running away from it, I kept trying to – I literally, Princess, I was covering my ears. I, uh-huh. I was covering my ears. And I'm like – it's like, no, I'm not. Like, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. It's not true. It's like you can't – and a voice was saying, you can't run away from me. You're crazy for even having such a goal. And you know what? You know what stopped that voice? Uh-huh. You, know, you ready? You know, and it's so profound that I realized this is how I've learned how to cope with the negativity in my life Uh not by running away from it by embracing it you know what it said as soon as it said i'm crazy as soon as it said you're crazy and i said you know what yes i am crazy and it stopped literally it was the weirdest experience i ever had and again i'm not sure if it was real or if it was a dream or was not because i feel like i was in the same literally i was in the same exact place i was when i woke up if it, as all I said was yes, I am crazy, and it stopped. It disappeared, and I realized it's absolutely true. I think would one uh, Tony Robbins has actually said, you know, embrace it, dance with it, because if you if you resist these type of obstacles or ideas or anything like that, you you fuel them. You know, you you give them attention, they grow. But if you embrace it and you think, okay, fine, you know, I'm crazy, you know, and just carry on doing what you're doing. Then it just kind of they they silent down, you know, they they quieten down those voices, and you know they don't get empowered that much. So I think you're totally right for accepting what you <laughs> those ideas that come into your head, you know. That these are all because of our surroundings, you know. It's, it's the media that's feeding them sub feeding us subconsciously. You know, even if you listen to things, you might not be aware that they're coming into your mind, but subconsciously they register and root your root themselves. So you know, it's really really cool what you did I, i'm really impressed oh. that you actually embraced it <laughs> oh, oh yeah it was such a surreal experience i've had yeah. and it was just probably i yeah, i don't want to say i would ever want it to happen again because this is really interesting i mean um i guess hearing voices and kind of make people think oh this guy's crazy he's insane I guess <laughs> but if, we, if we delve deeper into what really goes on in our psyche you might find something totally profound Yes, yes. Well, it's a blueprint, isn't it, Colin? I mean, you know, we're raised up. At the moment we're born, we're being conditioned, you know, and it, the blueprints remain. And I think increasing awareness is most important. And to cre- increase awareness is by reading books, listening to talks like this, you know, and 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 just um, going and meeting people that have had success, surrounding yourself with positive people, you know, that increases awareness. And then you can actually, you know, uh, understand that what's stopping you from from growing big. Oh, it's definitely. I I a hundred percent agree. So <laughs> this is a fun interview. <laughs> okay, so let me go to the next question because I don't want it to end. I'm I'm trying to prolong it as long as I can. <laughs> so what else are you currently involved in aside from the I Have a Dream show? What else do you currently do? Um, well, I'm writing my book now. It's called The Dreamcatcher. So um, it's literally sharing stories again of people that have gone by and, and are succeeding today. Because the thing I've learned from my guests is that even though they've achieved their dreams today, they've always got another mountain to climb, right? They always grow. And 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 I think it's just absolutely amazing that um, the, the sharing the process for one, but then asking them what their dream is again and them sharing it and, and then asking them to come back when they've achieved that dream. So it's just it's just absolutely amazing being able to kind of share these journeys in my book and, and some a lot of philosophy as well that's going in. So I'm really, really enjoying the process as it's opening me up as an entrepreneur as well when you write things down. It really does uh, open up your mind to what possibilities are out there, and hopefully, I'll inspire many people that read the book. I can't. I can't wait to read it. You got to sign my copy when I read it. When I first, when I when I buy the copy, you got to sign it. <laughs> oh, for sure, it's launching soon. I mean, I've, I've, it's, it's, as I said, it's a process. As a writer, you go through as well. So um, I, I want to make sure that I don't miss any any. I don't leave any stone unturned when I launch that book. So, what is the title for the book? And you have do you have a release date? 
yet or is it, it still in the up in the air? It's, I've, I've actually supposed to be releasing it last couple of months, but you know, because so much has happened in between, I just want to include it in the book. As I said, as a writer, you go through a process. So um, yeah, I've just kind of moved it forward a little bit to November, but uh, the title of the book is Dreamcatcher. So sharing dreams of entrepreneurs. Dream catcher. Okay, I gotta write. I gotta make that my title for my book. I'm kidding. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, that, that's yeah. wow. That's uh, so that's gonna be pretty fun. So Princess Fizz is having her own uh, published book. That's gonna be that's gonna be pretty exciting. I can't wait to read it. It's gonna be wow. <laughs> just hearing you speak <laughs> now, you know, just because what you overcome, your challenges, yeah. you especially what you told us earlier, it should be pretty interesting interesting to inspire others to do the same uh, yeah. i remember a quote i can't remember the, who the i can't remember you may remember but i can't i can't remember for the love of me who said this but um our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate our deepest fear that we are powerful beyond measure and i remember and the towards the end of the quote uh when we allow our, our light to shine we allow others to do the same Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, Marianne from pain, Wilson. I think... Yeah, Marianne Williamson, that's who it was. But go I'm sorry, continue. Right. <laughs> no, I, was, I, was, I was just saying that, you know, from your deepest pain, you know, um, that's where enlightenment happens. You know, that's where your soul opens up. Um, and uh, that's why I say pe when people go through struggles, embrace them, you know, use them as fuel for your journey because that's where growth happens look at, look at what a diamond goes through to reach that status of diamond and purity and clarity it has to go through grilling it has to go through burning and and scratching and all sorts and this is the same with humans to reach your higher self you have to embrace pain and and keep on going and and believe and have a vision of where you want to be and and just keep going keep moving mm -hmm. pressure makes diamonds that's the the saying I yeah <laughs> oh wow okay oh wow <laughs> we got to we got to, okay so how can people reach you um they can reach me on facebook they can go to my website um i have a dream show.com they can connect with me there and um yeah i mean you know the, I'm, I'm i'm there <laughs> <laughs> everywhere <laughs> everywhere you want yeah. to be. <laughs> so since we have about 10 minutes left uh -huh. I don't. I, I'm trying to prolong it as long as I can. This is exciting. <laughs> uh, what is your final piece of wisdom you want to give to everyone? I think definitely believe in yourself first. Believe in your capabilities, because um, you know a lot of people think that you know I can't do this. You know that I can't word. It just kills me because you can. You know you're 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 created from the divine source. And in you, you're here in this world to achieve something big, you know. And and it's not about the material gain. I've I've come from that. I've had material wealth, you know. I've had large homes. I've had maids and all that, you know. I've had all that. It's not about wealth or material gain. It's about contribution. That's what makes humans happy um, ultimately. So find out what is it that I can actually contribute back into this world, whether it's in form of a book or sharing your experience or you know just sharing a challenge that you've overcome to inspire others to do the same you know th this is it could be that that it could be that reason you're here in this world too you know so um my my contribution is to help as many women as i can to be free and and i i had to experience the pain first in my journey to understand the value of freedom and and understand the pain that some women in the world don't have as you know they don't have resources to be able to break free of it they're actually stuck i was actually lucky enough to break free but some women can't so i'm i would be the, the source of them being free so so yeah just understand your contribution what is it that you can contribute in this world and 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 leave a legacy you know Forget about material gain. All that is all good. You know, how many, how many houses are you going to buy? How many cars are you going to buy for yourself? Think bigger. Think about contribution. How many lives can you change? That's very deep. And he, <laughs> I remember earlier you told, me to, you told me how deep you want me to go. <laughs> <laughs> is... Well, I hope um, you know my story and uh, my vision has inspired whoever's listening to this. And I want to actually congratulate the people that have actually come on and listening to this because it means you're asking the right questions. You know, you're taking the action to learn, 
and and find who you are and what your purpose is. So I just wanted to take a moment and congratulate the people that are listening to this show right now. And I've, you know, it's, it's funny too, Princess, when you say we can contribute to society, excuse me, make a contribution to society, um, I, I think that's the greater uh, essence of having wealth. Because the more you have, yes. the more you can do. And I yes. find it interesting that the wealthiest people I know are the most generous. Oh, the most generous, yes. It's, 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 it's so interesting because when you have more money, you can spend it on yourself. And yes, it's fun, but think of a pile of you know, oh god, I can't believe I'm saying this. <laughs> they go a pile of dung. <laughs> yeah. When you when you, when you pile it up all for yourself, I, okay, say manure, because that's that would be manure. more politically <laughs> correct term and more appropriate term. <laughs> uh, when you think of a pile of manure, when you when you store it up all for yourself, how, how is it gonna help your crops grow? So yeah. you have to spread it around and invest in the ground. Now now. I'm not saying just hand it out to different people because you don't know, get me wrong. That's my disclaimer because I, in my personal, I guess my personal belief is you know we gotta. It's better to feed a person knowledge rather than just give them money. Feed them knowledge and how yes. to make more money. Yes. I, I believe it was a Chinese proverb: uh, feed a, teach a man to fish. I'm sorry. Yes. Give a man a fish, feed him for a day. Teach him how to fish, feed him for a lifetime. So I, I believe when we spread all our knowledge around, and we really, and we spread, you know, our our motivational um, words of encouragement around, it's gonna make an impact. I mean, yes, and it, I mean, it's, it's just those small steps. You know, all it takes is one idea. You know, a few simple words from somebody super famous or super wealthy. And all one person has to do is just hear that word and they realize, you know what? I can become super successful. I can make a difference in the world. I can I can yeah. be a game changer. I can be an innovator. I can do whatever yeah. I set my mind to and do Absolutely. that multiple times later on down the road. Excellent. Absolutely true, Colin. And also I'd like to leave the view um, you know, the listeners with um one thing that really inspires me is um Henry Ford. He says, when you give a, a blade of grass attention, it can be the whole world is actually inside that blade of grass. You can see the whole world in it, which means that, you know, if you come from a place of gratitude, which I, I do. People ask me, Colin, that, you know, why are you all so happy and cheerful every day? It's because I've, I've come from, you know, such a hardship and having freedom is something that I'm so grateful for each day, you know, waking up every morning with my daughter being able to paint you know have a canvas to paint whatever you want is just absolutely amazing for me and and you know you just kind of you know with people each day you know be grateful for the water that comes through your tap you know be grateful for the beauty that the world's given you and you know the, where you are your environment and you will always grow bigger that way in that day you know you you, you would find that you'll reach your capacity for that day rather than wasting it on what's wrong and, you know, frustrations or, you know, worries and things like that. If you come from a place of gratitude every single day, you'll reach your purpose for that day and it will add to the, the bigger purpose. Does that make sense? Oh, it makes perfect sense. Yeah. yeah. It's funny, when, I, when I look at what I have in life, I look at the things I have. And for people listening, I, I, I came up with a confirmation just for people to feel a little bit better when they use gratitude. Because I, I remember there were times in my life when I used to think, it's like, oh, I'm grateful for this. But then that word, but, comes along. But you know what? Yes. When that word, but, comes along, use the word, so what? It's like, so what if I have that? It's like, so what if I don't have that? I have this and such and such, and I could use that. I can use what I have to get what I want. It, but yes. This is my little take on the thing. But I love what, I love your example. So one last question, because you, answer, mm -hmm. you already answered the you already answered one of my other questions earlier with gratitude. <laughs> I love gratitude. Gratitude yes. makes your world light up in more, in more ways than one. So, ready for this? I ask this of everybody. <laughs> what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Oh, gosh, you got me there, Colin. Um, I would say uh, butterscotch. I just love it. <laughs> oh, I got to eat something now. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Now you reminded me of food. I haven't eaten anything at all in a while. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> butterscotch. Oh wow, that's mm. <laughs> it's yeah. it's funny because uh, oh god, ice cream. I can't remember who had that flavor as well. I think you're the first person you say they like, like they liked butterscotch. It might have been. It's you. usually chocolate, isn't it? <laughs> you know, it's 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 different for everybody, honestly. Oh. <laughs> Double chocolate with sauce or something like that, but oh. butterscotch any day. Making me hungry now. You make remind you make yeah. remind me. I gotta go. I gotta go eat something now. <laughs> I'm right back. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh wow, butterscotch, butterscotch. That's that's really interesting. Strawberry for me. I mean, I can't order strawberry in a restaurant. All my friends looking at me weird. Uh, actually, <laughs> we're, we're in IHOP. I'm not sure if they have IHOP in the UK, but in uh, in America, this diner, uh, we've uh, I ordered a tutti frutti uh, pancake, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my friends looked at me weird. Uh, I'm like, I I knew I was gonna get ridiculed for ordering the tutti frutti pancake, but I'm I'm sorry, but I wanted to eat it so badly. It just sounded so. That's the kid in you, right? I, 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 oh gosh, I'm I'm crazy, I'm ridiculous. <laughs> So anyway, uh, Princess Fizz, I want to thank you for coming on today. I, I, I love the fact that you came on. You know, I appreciate your time. Most welcome. <laughs> oh, definitely. So this is uh, Colin I. Thomas, author, entrepreneur. You can find Princess Fizz in, on Facebook, right? Absolutely, yeah. Facebook? Okay, Facebook. And, uh, and make, be sure to check out her uh, show, I Have a Dream Show. Uh, where she interviews entrepreneurs from all over the globe to just make an impact and inspire people. So this is Colin A. Thomas, author, entrepreneur, uh, with unlimited minds. Rock the universe. Inspire others to do the same. Uh, yeah. I remember a quote. I can't remember the who the i can't remember you may remember but i can't i can't remember for the love of me who said this but um our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate our deepest fear that we are powerful beyond measure and i remember and the towards the end of the quote uh when we allow our, our light to shine we allow others to do the same absolutely absolutely and you know marianne from pain, I think... yeah marianne williamson that's who it was but go i'm sorry continue right. <laughs> no, I, was, I, was, I was just saying that you know from your deepest pain you know um that's where enlightenment happens you know that's where your soul opens up um and uh, that's why i say pe when people go through struggles embrace them you know use them as fuel for your journey, because that's where growth happens. Look, look at what a diamond goes through to reach that status of diamond and purity and clarity. It has to go through grilling. It has to go through burning and, and scratching and all sorts. And this is the same with humans. To reach your higher self, you have to embrace pain and, and keep on going and, and believe and have a vision of where you want to be and, and just keep going, keep moving. Mm -hmm. Pressure makes diamonds. That's the saying I yeah <laughs> oh wow okay oh wow <laughs> we got to we got to, okay so how can people reach you um they can reach me on facebook they can go to my website um i have a dream show.com they can connect with me there and um yeah i mean you know the, I'm, I'm i'm there <laughs> <laughs> everywhere <laughs> everywhere you want yeah. to be. <laughs> so since we have about 10 minutes left uh -huh. I don't. I, I'm trying to prolong it as long as I can. This is exciting. <laughs> uh, what is your final piece of wisdom you want to give to everyone? I think definitely believe in yourself first. Believe in your capabilities, because um, you know a lot of people think that you know I can't do this. You know that I can't word. It just kills me because you can. You know you're 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 created from the divine source. And in you, you're here in this world to achieve something big, you know. And and it's not about the material gain. I've I've come from that. I've had material wealth, you know. I've had large homes. I've had maids and all that, you know. I've had all that. It's not about wealth or material gain. It's about contribution. That's what makes humans happy um, ultimately. So find out what is it that I can actually contribute back into this world, whether it's in form of a book or sharing your experience or, you know, just sharing a challenge that you've overcome to inspire others to do the same. You know, this is, it could be that, that it could be that reason you're here in this world too, you know? So um, my, my contribution is to help as many women as I can to be free. And, and I, I had to experience the pain first in my journey to understand the value of freedom. 
and and understand the pain that some women in the world don't have as you know they don't have resources to be able to break free of it they're actually stuck I was actually lucky enough to break free but some women can't so I'm I would be the the source of them being free so so yeah just understand your contribution what is it that you can contribute in this world and 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 leave a legacy you know forget about material gain all that is all good you know how many but how many houses are you going to buy how many cars are you going to buy for yourself think bigger think about contribution how many lives can you change that's very deep and he, <laughs> i remember earlier you told me to you told me how deep you want me to go <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope um, you know my story and uh, my vision has inspired whoever's listening to this. And I want to actually congratulate the people that have actually come on and listening to this because it means you're asking the right questions. You know, you're taking the action to learn and and find who you are and what your purpose is. So I just wanted to take a moment and congratulate the people that are listening to this show right now. And I've, you know, it's, it's funny too, Princess, when you say you can contribute to society, excuse me, make a contribution to society, um, I, I think that's the greater uh, essence of having wealth. Because the more you have, yes. the more you can do. And I yes. find it interesting that the wealthiest people I know are the most generous. Oh, the most generous, yes. It's, 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 it's so interesting because when you have more money, you can spend it on yourself, and yes, it's fun, but think of a pile of yeah. Oh God, I can't believe I'm saying this. <laughs> they go a pile of dung. <laughs> yeah. When you when you, when you pile it up all for yourself, okay. Say manure, because that's that would be manure. more politically <laughs> correct term and more appropriate term. <laughs> uh, when you think of a pile of manure, when you when you store it up all for yourself, how, how is it gonna help your crops grow? So yeah. you have to spread it around and invest in the ground. Now now. I'm not saying just hand it out to different people because you don't know, get me wrong. That's my disclaimer because I, in my personal, I guess my personal belief is you know we gotta. It's better to feed a person knowledge rather than just give them money. Feed them knowledge and how yes. to make more money. Yes. I, I believe it was a Chinese proverb: uh, feed a, teach a man to fish. I'm sorry, yes. give a man a fish, feed him for a day. Teach him how to fish, feed him for a lifetime. So I, I believe when we spread all our knowledge around, and we really, and we spread, you know, our our motivational um, words of encouragement around, it's gonna make an impact. I mean, yes, and it, I mean, it's, it's just those small steps. You know, all it takes is one idea, you know, a few simple words from somebody super famous or super wealthy. And all one person has to do is just hear that word and they realize, you know what? I can become super successful. I can make a difference in the world. I can I can yeah. be a game changer. I can be an innovator. I can do whatever yeah. I set my mind to and do Absolutely. that multiple times later on down the road. Excellent. Absolutely true, Colin. And also I'd like to leave the view um, you know, the listeners with um one thing that really inspires me is um Henry Ford. He says, when you give a, a blade of grass attention, it can be the whole world is actually inside that blade of grass. You can see the whole world in it, which means that, you know, if you come from a place of gratitude, which I, I do. People ask me, Colin, that, you know, why are you all so happy and cheerful every day? It's because I've, I've come from, you know, such a hardship and having freedom is something that I'm so grateful for each day, you know, waking up every morning with my daughter being able to paint you know have a canvas to paint whatever you want is just absolutely amazing for me and and you know you just kind of you know with people each day you know be grateful for the water that comes through your tap you know be grateful for the beauty that the world's given you and you know the, where you are your environment and you will always grow bigger that way in that day you know you you, you would find that you'll reach your capacity for that day rather than wasting it on what's wrong and, you know, frustrations or, you know, worries and things like that. If you come from a place of gratitude every single day, you'll reach your purpose for that day and it will add to the, the bigger purpose. Does that make sense? Oh, it makes perfect sense. Yeah. yeah. It's funny, when, I, when I look at what I have in life, I look at the things I have and for people listening, I, I, I came up with a confirmation just for people to feel a little bit better when they use gratitude. Because 
I remember there were times in my life when I used to think, it's like, oh, I'm grateful for this. But then that word, but, comes along. But you know what? Yes. When that word, but, comes along, use the word, so what? It's like, so what if I have that? It's like, so what if I don't have that? I have this and such and such, and I could use that. I can use what I have to get what I want. It, but yes. this is my little take on the thing. But I love what, I love your example. So one last question, because you, answer, mm -hmm. you, you, you already answered one of my other questions earlier with gratitude. <laughs> I love gratitude. Gratitude yes. makes your world light up in more, in more ways than one. So ready for this? I ask this of everybody. <laughs> what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Oh, gosh, you got me there, Colin. Um, I would say uh, butterscotch. I just love it. <laughs> oh, I got to eat something now. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Now you reminded me of food. I haven't eaten anything at all in a while. <laughs> Butterscotch. Oh wow, that's mm. <laughs> it's yeah. it's funny because uh oh god, ice cream. I can't remember who had that flavor as well. I think you're the first person you say they like, like they liked butterscotch. It might have been. It's you. usually chocolate, isn't it? <laughs> you know, it's 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 different for everybody, honestly. Oh. <laughs> Double chocolate with sauce or something like that, but oh. butterscotch any day. <laughs> making me hungry now. You make remind you make yeah. remind me. I gotta go. I gotta go eat something now. <laughs> I'm right back. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, butterscotch, butterscotch. That's that's really interesting. Strawberry for me. I mean, I can't order strawberry in a restaurant. Without my friends looking at me weird. Uh, actually, <laughs> we're, we're in IHOP. I'm not sure if they have IHOP in the UK, but in uh, in America, this diner, uh, we've uh, I ordered a tutti frutti uh, pancake, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my friends looked at me weird. Uh, I'm like, I, I knew I was going to get ridiculed for ordering the tutti frutti pancake, but I'm, I'm sorry, but I wanted to eat it so badly. It just sounded so That's delicious. the kid in you, right? I, 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 oh, gosh, I'm, I'm crazy. I'm ridiculous. So anyway, uh, Princess Fizz, I want to thank you for coming on today. I, I, I love the fact that you came on. You know, I appreciate your time. You're most welcome. <laughs> oh, definitely. So this is uh, Colin I. Thomas, author, entrepreneur. You can find Princess Fizz in, on Facebook, right? Absolutely, yeah. Facebook, okay, Facebook, and uh, and make be sure to check out her uh, show. I have a dream show, uh, where she interviews entrepreneurs from all over the globe, it just make an impact and inspire people. So this is Colin a. Thomas, author, entrepreneur, uh, with unlimited minds, rock the universe. You know, have a canvas to paint whatever you want. Is just absolutely amazing for me and and you know you just kind of you know with people each day you know be grateful for the water that comes through your tap you know be grateful for the beauty that the world's given you and you know the, where you are your environment and you will always grow bigger that way in that day you know you you, you would find that you'll reach your capacity for that day rather than wasting it on what's wrong and you know frustrations or you know worries and things like that if you come from a place of gratitude every single day you'll reach your purpose for that day and it will add to the the bigger purpose does that make sense oh it makes perfect sense yeah, yeah. It's funny. When, I, when i look at what i have in life i look at the things i have and for people listening in, i i came up with a confirmation just for people to feel a little bit better when they use gratitude because i I remember there were times in my life when I used to think, it's like, oh, I'm grateful for this. But then that word, but, comes along. But you know what? Yes. When that word, but, comes along, use the word, so what? It's like, so what if I have that? It's like, so what if I don't have that? I have this and such and such, and I could use that. I can use what I have to get what I want. It, but yes. This is my little take on the thing. But I love what, I love your example. So one last question, because you, mm -hmm. you already answered the you already answered one of my other questions earlier with gratitude. <laughs> I love gratitude. Gratitude yes. makes your world light up in more, in more ways than one. So ready for this? I ask this of everybody. <laughs> what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Oh, gosh, you got me there, Colin. Um, I would say uh, butterscotch. I just love it. <laughs> oh, I got to eat something now. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Now you reminded me of food. I haven't eaten anything at all in a while. <laughs> butterscotch. Oh, wow. That's mm. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's funny because, uh, oh, God, ice cream. I can't remember who had that flavor as well. I think you're the first person you say they, like, like, they liked butterscotch. It might have been. It's you. usually chocolate, isn't it? <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's different for everybody, honestly. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> double chocolate with sauce or something like that. But oh. butterscotch any day. Making me hungry now. You make remind you make yeah. me remind me. I gotta go. I gotta go eat something now. <laughs> I'm right back. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh wow, butterscotch, butterscotch. That's that's really interesting. Strawberry for me. I mean, I can't order strawberry in a restaurant. All my friends looking at me weird. Uh, actually, <laughs> we're, we're in IHOP. I'm not sure if they have IHOP in the UK, but in uh, in America, this diner, uh, we've uh, I ordered a tutti frutti uh, pancake, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my friends looked at me weird. Uh, I'm like, I I knew I was gonna get ridiculed for ordering the tutti frutti pancake, but I'm I'm sorry, but I wanted to eat it so badly. It just sounded so. That's the kid in you, right? I, 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 oh gosh, I'm I'm crazy, I'm ridiculous. So anyway, uh, Princess Fizz, I want to thank you for coming on today. I, I I love the fact that you came on. You know, I appreciate your time. Most welcome. <laughs> oh, definitely. So this is uh, Colin I Thomas, author, entrepreneur. You can find Princess Fizz in, on Facebook, right? Absolutely, yeah. Facebook, okay, Facebook, and uh, and make be sure to check out her uh, show. I have a dream show, uh, where she interviews entrepreneurs from all over the globe, to just make an impact and inspire people. So this is Colin a. Thomas, author, entrepreneur, and uh, with unlimited minds, rock the universe. Oh wow, <laughs> butterscotch, butterscotch. That's that's really interesting. Strawberry for me. I mean, I can't order strawberry in a restaurant. All my friends look at me weird. Uh, actually, <laughs> we're, we're in IHOP. I'm not sure if they have IHOP in the UK, but in uh, in America, this diner, uh, we've uh, I ordered a tutti frutti uh, pancake, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my friends looked at me weird. Uh, I'm like, I I knew I was gonna get ridiculed for ordering the tutti frutti pancake, but I'm I'm sorry, but I wanted to eat it so badly. It just sounded so. That's the kid in you, right? I, I oh <laughs> gosh, I'm I'm crazy, I'm ridiculous. So anyway, uh, Princess Fizz, I want to thank you for coming on today. Yeah, I, I love the fact that you came on. You know, I appreciate your time. Most welcome. <laughs> oh, definitely. So this is uh, Colin I. Thomas, author, entrepreneur. You can find Princess Fizz in, on Facebook, right? Absolutely, yeah. Facebook, okay, Facebook, and uh, and make be sure to check out her uh, show. I have a dream show. Uh, where she interviews entrepreneurs from all over the globe to just make an impact and inspire people. So this is Colin A. Thomas, author, entrepreneur, uh, with unlimited minds, rock the universe. Entrepreneur, you can find Princess Fizz in, on Facebook, right? Absolutely, yeah. Facebook, okay, Facebook, and uh, and make be sure to check out her uh, show. I have a dream show. Uh, where she interviews entrepreneurs from all over the globe to just make an impact and inspire people. So this is Colin A. Thomas, author, entrepreneur, uh, with unlimited minds, rock the universe. It's author, entrepreneur, uh, with unlimited minds, rock the universe.